Folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal, and today we're finally going to talk about the topic you've been bringing up time and time again on my videos since I started looking at video in more detail, and that's why does my Wi-Fi cut out? Let's summarize this problem in a bit more detail. You launch video, start a screen recording, and then you want to play a game such as Clash Royale or Minecraft, which requires the internet, and suddenly you realize your Wi-Fi connection has been dropped. So your screen recording is ruined and your device needs to be restarted. Complete disaster, everything's going wrong. Well, one handy tip just to start off with is cancel your recording and go to the control center and try putting your device into flight mode, leaving it there for 10 seconds, and that might get Wi-Fi back up and running without having to restart your device. If that doesn't work, then yes, you may have to try and restart your device. Now, I have been talking directly to the developer about this, and this is the official reason why it doesn't work. It happens because the network gets saturated by large airplay data. If you want a more technical answer, then this is it. Airplay goes to the local host, 127.0.0.1. It doesn't leave your device, we're talking about data here, so it should not saturate the network, but for some reason it does. Basically, the Airplay packets fill up your local loopback buffer, which is used by lots of things, and your Wi-Fi goes crazy and processes in iOS can't route the traffic correctly, so your Wi-Fi gets disconnected. For the less technical answer, get a better iOS device. I'm sorry to say as bluntly as that, but video, like Airshow, depends on the quality of your iOS device. The more recent, the better. This is why when you've been making a complaint to me, I've personally not experienced it because I have an iPad Mini 4 and an iPhone 7, very recent devices in the iOS family, which can handle what video is trying to throw at it in terms of data on AirPlay. Now, the further bad news is that since video was revoked and removed from the App Store, the developer is not actively improving this application. It's as good as what we're going to get, at least for the time being. However, if you do have an older device and you want to try and get video running, here are some tips you can try to increase your chances of doing a successful recording. In video, scroll down to the bottom and try changing the device resolution to 720 and the max frames per second to 30. That's going to put less strain on AirPlay and you're still going to get fairly decent quality video out of it. So try that and see if Wi-Fi manages to maintain itself. Also, before you start your recording, you can go to the control center and try and put your device into flight mode for about 10 seconds to try and reset your Wi-Fi data, expire all the data and the buffering out of there and then starting afresh. Again, this is not a clear cut solution, but it's worth giving a try. And the last thing you can try is somebody else's Wi-Fi connection. If it's faster, then it may be able to deal more with the video recording. I'm sorry I can't give you a perfect solution on this, but like Airshow, video does have its quirks and we're just going to have to work with them. After you tried these tips and you were suffering with the issue before, do let me know if they improve your performance and experience with video. Otherwise, if you've got any more comments, do put them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you. Otherwise, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel as I will be covering more iOS screen recording content in the future. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day, stop being angry, bye for now.